there's another new way to capture quest native footage, though it's a little exclusive right now, but it doesn't have to be that way. It's a virtual camera system that lives right inside the game itself, letting you record different angles without any external apps or PC setups. Though, yes, it can work with Steam VR games too, but recording PC VR has always been a little bit easier and has had more options. If you don't already know, I've been working as product marketing at Live for over four years now. But let me tell you what we've been cooking next with Live Creator Kit. If you've ever tried to record Quest gameplay, you know it can be a pain. The built-in recording is basic, and if you want anything professional looking, you'll usually need to connect your Quest to a PC in an enable developer mode. Live Creator Kit changes that by putting all of your recording tools directly in-game. Now, being honest, this is pretty new technology. We just launched with Gorilla Tag in December, and while that integration has been incredibly successful, we're still in the early stages. But let me break down exactly what you can do with LCK using our Gorilla Tag integration as an example. You get three main camera modes. Selfie mode lets you record yourself from the front or back. You can let go of the camera and it'll float in place so you can hit record and walk away from it. First person gives you clean POV footage and third person tracks your head so that it'll always stay in front or behind view. Within each mode, you can adjust the FOV, add smoothing to reduce camera shake, and even choose between portrait or landscape orientation for different platforms. For PC VR users, the recordings get saved directly to your videos in the game name folder. On Quest, the videos get saved directly in headset in the files folder. Now, apparently I'm old and I guess having a PC to offload footage onto and then edit is kind of weird and outdated, but we have been seeing a lot of kids having issues when it comes to the Meta Horizon gallery, either the gallery not wanting to sync with the app or a weird download unsuccessful error when trying to get the footage from the MetaQuest gallery onto their phone. Unfortunately, this is outside of our control, but we're experimenting and looking into maybe different ways of addressing this. And hopefully we can get in contact with someone who works at Meta in charge of the gallery or syncing issues. So they're aware of how many people actually use these features, which is a lot, by the way. Anyway, developers can customize how the camera looks and works in their world. In Gorilla Tag, we worked closely with the team to design a tablet that matched their aesthetic. While we do have a basic prefab available, we highly encourage developers to make the camera feel native to their game. Just like our original Live SDK that many of you might be familiar with, LCK requires the LCK SDK for developers to integrate into their games. Our development team is actively updating the SDK based on feedback and working closely with game developers to iron out the kinks. Every game is different, which presents unique challenges, but we've been working hard to make the integration process as smooth as possible. The results we've seen so far have been incredible though. In just the first month in Gorilla Tag alone, players created over 19 million recordings. That shows just how many people want to share their VR experiences, but maybe didn't have the right tools before, especially on Quest. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on LCK, particularly when it comes to Quest native games. What features would you want to see? If there is a game that you'd like to see with it, let the developers know. Trust me, this means a lot more coming from their actual player base versus someone who works for the company. Not to say that I don't try. So if you do want to see this in more games, help me spread the word. For any developers watching, the SDK is completely free and is available at live.tv slash lck creator kit. We've got thorough documentations and support channels available through our Discord. Drop a comment with your thoughts, questions, and comments. And as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you in the next one.